Hello, welcome and thank you for joining us this afternoon. My name is Hayley and I'm here today with my colleagues Simon and Nic Nicola and we are all part of the FMB's membership services team based in Leeds. Um, today we're not going to go through all of the benefits available to you as an FMB member. Um, that would be a lot of information. We don't want to overload you with information on a Friday afternoon. But we are going to share some really useful tips and pointers about how other members have used their FMB membership to get the most value out of it that we, that they possibly can. So we really hope that you will find this a useful session. Um, a couple of housekeeping notices before we start. So first of all, there is a Q&A box at the bottom of the screen. So if anything occurs to you as we're going through the session, you'd like to ask a question, just type it in there and we will answer those questions um, at the end of the session. We will also send you a follow up email. You'll probably get that on Monday and that will include a link to the recording of this session. So if there's anything that you miss as we're going through, you'll be able to have a look at that and, and catch up later. Um, we'll also put links in there to any other resources or information that we refer to in the session today. So you don't have to worry about making too many notes as we go through. It'll also have contact details in there so that if you want any more support or information with any of the things that we talk about in today's session or anything to do with your FMB membership, come to that, you can get in touch with us via those details that you'll get in the email on Monday. So first of all, I'm going to hand over to Simon, who is going to share some tips about promoting yourself as a master builder. Over to you, Simon. Thank you, Hayley. I'll just share my screen. If you could let me know when you can see it, that would be great. Yep, that's up on the screen now. Great, thank you. Okay, good afternoon to everyone watching. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to pass on some hopefully useful ideas for using your FMB member status to give peace of mind to your clients. And by way of background, there are a couple of ways that we here at the FMB promote you to potential clients. Our Find a Builder tool is the main way. And to give you some context of the scale of this, last month alone, we had 45,000 consumer visits to the FMB Finder Builder directory. Many of these visitors will have researched what it means to be a master builder through the information on the website. However, we know from experience that much of our members' work comes from other sources like recommendations. And those clients might not know that you're a master builder or indeed what that means to them as a customer. The second way that we promote you uh, as an, is as an FMB staff team, we have literally thousands of conversations with consumers looking for a builder each year. And as a result of these conversations, we've built a really good knowledge of what concerns them about choosing the right builder and also how our entry and membership requirements give them the peace of mind that can only come from using a master builder. So consumers uh, looking for a builder are generally concerned with three things. Firstly, how can they be sure the standard of work will be good? How can they also be sure uh, the building company they use is financially sound and will treat them fairly? And also, what if something goes wrong with the project? Now, like I said earlier, every year we have thousands of conversations with your potential clients, either over the phone, or at the various consumer events that we attend, like the home building and renovating shows. And in nearly all cases, by explaining what it means to be a master builder, we're able to provide a level of confidence that they just don't get from choosing a non-FMB member. So I'm going to share what we say with these uh, to these consumers with you um, in the hope that you'll see the same results that we do when promoting our members. Now, it's actually easier to do this uh, when consumers don't know much or even anything about the FMB. So don't be put off if you get customers saying they haven't heard of the FMB. So these are the points. Firstly, it's not easy to become a member. 
membership services reject over 20% of applications on average every single month. The highest rejection rate that we saw last year on an individual month was 33%. So one third of applicants who applied were turned down. All members go through a thorough vetting process and our checks include, for example, financial checks of the business and each of the individual directors. We're looking for confirmation of trading history. We're looking for confirmation of any accreditations or registration of any uh, competent person schemes. We're also looking for things like health and safety breaches, proof of liability insurance, and many more. There are actually 14 main checks and sub checks under those. So I'm not going to go through all of those individually. Secondly, all new members have their work inspected for quality and standards and regularly so in the first three years of membership. And then they go on to a risk based approach from then on. <clears throat> members who are Trustmark registered are inspected every three years as a minimum um, and all members are continually monitored to ensure they continue to meet the membership standards. And don't forget, we remain the only membership organisation in the construction industry um, to inspect members work on joining. So thirdly, uh, FMB members have free access to easy to understand FMB contracts that are designed to protect both parties throughout the project uh, and these also help you to create that professional image that customers want to see. Uh, FMB members can provide a level of financial support, uh, financial protection rather, um, over their work in the form of insurance back guarantees uh, and these are available through FMB insurance services and Hayley will give a further overview of this benefit a little bit later on. And finally, in the unlikely event of something going wrong with a project, consumers using an FMB member have the backup of a dispute resolution service that is certified annually by the Chartered Trading Standards Institute. Now, this kind of backup is just simply not available to most consumers who choose a non-FMB member. So we know that covering these points is working really well for a large number of members. And those members generally report a higher conversion of their quotes into actual projects. So winning more work effectively from the same volume of quotes. Additionally, we've received feedback from members on the last two FMB business coaching programs that better promoting their FMB status um, has enabled them to charge more realistically for their work. So rather than competing on price with other builders, which, as you know, can often lead to a race to the bottom, they've been able to compete on quality and simply being the best. So I can't stress enough the value that you'll get from talking about your FMB membership status. So to help you promote your FMB status, we've produced a couple of useful documents that are being well used now by your fellow members. The first is a personalized marketing leaflet and the second is a membership certificate and they can be downloaded from my fmb on the first page you get to after logging in and that page is shown here and i've highlighted where the links are on this screenshot and this is what the downloaded documents will look like but personalized with your company details you'll see the marketing leaflet covers the promotional points that i've just covered um, and feedback from members so far has been very positive and members have reported especially good results when they include these documents with their quotes. Another document that's sometimes overlooked but works very well for many members is the FMB Code of Conduct. Now, this may sound like a list of rules, but it really is written in a way that resonates with potential clients as it highlights in a really sort of short way what they can expect from you before, during and after the project. It's another great tool that you can use to demonstrate your commitment to being a professional building company um, and also that you're accountable for high standards and good trading practices. But for me, perhaps the key point is that the FMB Code of Conduct provides a practical and robust framework for managing your construction projects. And as with all the other useful documents I've gone through, this is available on the FMB website and in the My FMB member area. 
And the final thing that I'm going to leave you with is to use the FMB logo wherever it's appropriate. Best practice is to add this to things like your quote templates, your website, um, social media profiles, on your email signatures. Many of our members have their logo, or our logo rather, on their company workwear. Um, you can also use it on your site boards and banners. Uh, logos are available in various formats and file types uh, as shown on this page. Um, the page is in my FMB. It's under my uh, member resources, uh, promote your FMB status. So it should be pretty straightforward to find. So that's everything from me for now. Thanks for your time. And I'll hand you over to Nicola. Thank you, Simon. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Nicola. Uh, and I'd like to show you how using your FMB membership to its full potential can help you win more work. So when consumers come to us for help looking for a builder, they can go straight to the Find a Builder tab and all they'll need to do is enter their postcode and select the type of work that they're looking for. For example, it might be a renovation. When they click on the search builders, this will then bring them a list of builders in order of distance matching the criteria input. And as you can see, this is the results that will appear. Um, it'll show them a list of companies. Um, it'll have their company logo on and a first few lines of the introduction, along with which companies have reviews and also who is Trustmark registered. Um, think of this as your shop window. So from here, consumers can add companies to a shortlist if required and then send them direct messages uh, requesting quotations. Now, these emails will come from us and the email address is jobleads at fmb.org.uk. It's important to add this email address to your address book to try, try and avoid these emails going into your spam. Now, sometimes consumers need a little bit more help to choose the right builder. So at the end of last year, we launched a new job matching service to complement our existing offering after listening to the voice of our members. Now, this has been well received by both the consumers and our members. And since we've launched it, we've seen a 12% increase in direct inquiries and a 25% increase in overall potential job leads to members. So when a consumer inputs the details onto the form that you can see on your screen, this will trigger an email to all members matching that criteria. You'll then have the option, if the lead is of interest, to claim this job. If you've been successful in claiming the job, you will get, then get full access to the contact details of the client. Um, so now um, I'd like to show you how you can update your profile to make the most of the opportunities available to you. So once you've logged into the members area, you'll then need to click on manage your online profile. And here are the tools and all the different options to enhance your profile. If you are actively seeking work, you can update the toggle at the top to show that you've got great availability. And so underneath, uh, we're looking at um, the in the inquiries section, you can see my inquiries. Um, now, these are the direct job leads. And in the job leads in your area, these are the leads that have been populated from the job matching service. Um, you can also update the areas you work in and the mile radius that you'd also be willing to travel for. Um, and also you can add multiple areas if you're um, you know, will, willing to go a bit further out. Um, so your online profile, this is where you can add the introduction to your company. You can also add your company logo, um, social media links, and you can update your contact details and client reviews. So this is where you can request a review from your client and when they submit it, it goes straight onto your profile. Uh, um, <clears throat> projects, so this is where you can add multiple projects showcasing the work that you've done um, and trades. So as shown earlier, you'll appear in search results based on your list of trades. And this is where you can update your existing trades or request new ones. 
Now I recommend that you only select the trades that reflect the type of work that you're hoping to win. And this is to ensure that the inquiries you receive are appropriate for your business. Um, so as part of your membership, we will provide you with all these tools, opportunities and resources to make your company great. And we're always available to offer any advice on how to use your membership to its full potential. We also offer you a full suite of benefits to support you in your business, some of which you'll find here in the member resources section. And if you haven't already, I recommend that you take a look at all the options available here to see what you can make use of. It might be that you're interested in doing some online e-learning courses in, I don't know, asbestos awareness, for example, or you might want to download an FMB contract or the FMB logo. So I hope that that's been helpful. But if you do need any further guidance, please contact the membership team. who will be more than happy to help. And I'll hand you over to Hayley now. Thank you. Thanks, Nicola. That's great. I can see we've got one or two questions coming in. So don't forget any other questions, please just type them in the Q&A box and we'll deal with those when we get to the end of the session. So just a couple more points um, from me to cover before we close. Firstly, the insurance back guarantees. So this is an insurance policy that means that your customer is protected if any defects arise from the work or where the contractor has ceased trading for any reason. Now, I know that you will be thinking as an FMB member that it's very unlikely that there are going to be any defects with your work or that you're going to cease to trade any anytime soon and quite right too. However, from the customer's point of view, this is really valuable extra reassurance for them. We've done some market research with your customers um, that showed us that 75% of potential customers out there would choose a builder who could offer this kind of protection over any other builder. It means you're offering them a really strong after sales package, which is unlikely that any other local builder will be able to match. The policies run for two, six or 10 years after the completion of the uh, project and the cost starts from 1% of the contract value. So this is something that you should give some serious thought to, um, and we will include more information in the follow-up email for you. However, I, I really should point out that if you are um, a Trustmark registered member, then it is mandatory as part of the Trustmark package that you must give out these policies to your customers. The process to do it is really quite quick and easy, and um, you can talk to anyone at the FMB insurance team who can give you more information about that if you should need it. And the final thing I wanted to mention is the business coaching. So uh, we hear from many members that as their business grows, they take on more projects, more people. They seem to work harder and harder, but end up with bigger headaches to deal with and don't necessarily end up being uh, more profitable as a result. So we at the FMB really wanted to help members with that, which is why we uh, launched the business coaching program about 18 months or so ago now. Um, it, this is a six month program that consists of online Zoom sessions with a, a qualified business coach working with a group of members from all across the UK. Um, and there are opportunities within that for members to network with each other as well and share best practice and information too, which is one of the best things about the program, I think. Um, we get great feedback from members participating in that program. And what, what Simon talked about earlier with regards to uh, competing for work by being the best quality builder that you can be rather than competing on price and avoiding that race to the bottom on quotations, um, that's a fundamental key theme that comes out of the business coaching again and again, that members work together and share ideas about how they can address that issue and you, how they can use the FMB resources to help them with that as well. So again, we'll send you more information about the business coaching. And if you do want to get involved with that, there's a link that you can register your interest. Um, we'll put you on the waiting list for the next program. We don't have a start date for the next program. The current program is about a quarter of, a, of the way through at the moment as well. So that's it from us. I feel like we've packed quite a lot of information in there and hopefully you've found it useful. We've based everything we've said today on feedback that we've had from members over many years and conversations that we've had with customers as well. So you can have confidence that these tips could work for you as well. So please give these things a try. 
and let us know how you get on. Um, we are going to deal with questions now. Let me see. Uh, we did have a question from Peter at the bottom of the screen, which has now disappeared somehow. That's very strange. Um, I can no longer see the question, but I do remember what he was asking. He was saying that he's seen a couple of times that he's been alerted to a job lead in his area, but by the time he's gone online to check it, it's already been claimed by another builder. And he was asking, does does it work on um, specific geographic locations, which Nicola's already explained how it does work, how the leads get allocated. But is there anything else that we can share with Peter to um, about that? particular yeah. issue that you've been having. <clears throat> yeah, I can share something with that. Yeah. So um like Nicola said, we launched it um at the end of last year. Uh, and um, it's still early days. And what we're finding, it, we're just trying to understand what that consumer behavior is at the moment. There are a few things that we've realized, um, you know, aren't necessarily working as fairly as we'd like them to for, uh, for members. So we've made a series of tweaks um, already and there are further uh, developments planned to make this at the moment the um the the uh, matches uh, the job matches are going out to all members who meet that criteria within that particular search area um and um it, but we can only allow up to 3 members at the moment to actually you know select that job um so you know that un understandably is meaning that a few people are being left disappointed in terms of uh, that so yeah we're just working on some some developments on that um and uh yeah watch this space we'll yeah we'll do thank that you, so uh, thanks to peter for his, his feedback on that that's really mm. helpful and as you said we're still testing and trialing um different ways of making the system work better for members aren't we um yeah. another question is about What's the best thing to write in your profile that appears on Find a Builder? Perhaps Nicholas. No, Nicholas. Gosh, I just changed your name, Nicola. Perhaps <laughs> you could give us some pointers and tips on what's best for members to write in their profiles uh, on the Find a Builder. Yes, of course. So, um, in the, what, what I would advise is that in your company description um, to keep it brief. Um, and uh, you know, it, when you're adding uh, the photos of your work, um, you know, also add your best photos. Um, you can add uh, quite a few photos per um, case studies um, that you put on there, um, and you, you know, you can. So, say for example, if you put in a case study on and you're part way through that project, you might not have finished it. You can go back in and amend that same case study, you know, ensuring that you've got your very best photos on there. Um, I would also say to, um, you know, be, be careful about not using block capitals and also to spell check. Um, you know, a good idea is you can ask like a family member for to proofread it for you. Um, um you know and, and to give any feedback and also we're here you know we're always available if you would like us to have a look at your profiles that you've done yourselves and offer any advice on that as well okay that's great thank you nicola i think that's right about keeping it brief because sometimes you see that members have put an awful lot of time and effort into writing quite a lengthy profile but we know that consumers are unlikely to read all of that information they just want to quickly skim through it don't they so mm. that's really good advice well we don't have any more questions coming in but as i said earlier we will send a follow-up email that will come out to everybody on monday and you'll get the recording of the session and you'll get links to the resources that we've talked about in particular the um, fmb insurance website with the information about the insurance back guarantee policy um, and our contact details. So if you would like any support with actually refining your profile and making it as good as it can be, then we're all happy to help you with that. In particular, Nicola and the membership team are doing that often for members. So they see what a really good profile looks like. So um, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for joining us. And we hope to see you at a future webinar. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.